Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the sixth grade concept of volume, specifically of a rectangular prism, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So you see over here on the right, we have one of the formulas that we can use to find the volume of a rectangular prism. I say one because there's another way we can write this formula. We'll look at that in just a moment. But basically, you're going to take your length and your width and your height, and you're going to multiply those three. It doesn't matter in whatever order. So if you ever see a problem like this, you're golden. You have three numbers. You multiply everything. You can do it in any order you want. So in this case, I'm going to say uh, 5 times 3. That's going to give me 15. And I want to multiply that by 7. So that is going to be 35. So it looks like my volume is 105. Now let's take a look at our unit here. They're inches, and since we multiplied inches three times, the correct answer is going to say 105 cubic inches, or inches to the power of three. I mentioned there are two different ways to write the formula for volume of a rectangular prism, and the second one is right over here. And you might think, well, no, they completely changed it. But actually what they did was they simply collapsed. So your length times width, they are just going to replace that with the letter B. And so the B stands for base. You still see the H. In this case, we made it lowercase. But it's going to be base times the height. So it's going to be the exact same. They're just going to assume that you know what the base is. And when we're talking about the base of a rectangular prism, it's either going to be a square or a rectangle. So first, you're going to need to find the area of the base. So I'm going to put A with a little B. And that's going to be your length times width. So in this case, our Base is going to be this bottom portion right here that I'm shading in. And it's got a length of 7 and a width of 3. So if I wanted to find the base of that, then that base would be 7 times 3. So that's going to be 21 inches squared, because I only multiplied 2 inches. So there's only a 2 as an exponent. Now I need to multiply this base. So I've got my base of 21. I need to multiply that by my height. That's still going to be 5. So 21 times 5, let's see what happens. Hopefully we're going to get the same answer. And that is going to be 105. It's going to be inches cubed. So there's two different ways to write the formula. It could be length times width times height, or it could be base times height. So let's look at another example. We're going to use our volume equals base times height formula. And the only trick that they can give you here is they can give you one or more of the measurements as a mixed number. And so really, we're not going to try to multiply the mixed number. What we need to do is we need to change that into a decimal. So 2.5, we're going to call that 2.5, or 2 and 5 tenths. And then once we have that, everything is going to be the same. Volume is going to be base times height. So our base is going to be 15 times 2.5. So we're going to multiply it like it doesn't have any decimals. We'll deal with that decimal in just a moment. So that's going to be 75, and that's going to be 10. And that's going to be 3. So it looks like 375. But remember, we had the decimal. There was one digit behind the decimal place. We're going to put one digit behind the decimal place in the answer. So we're going to take our 37.5 inches squared. Now we just need to multiply that by the height. Once again, let's just ignore this decimal right now. That's going to be 40. And so that's going to be 5660. And that is going to be 2430. That is an awful lot of zeros. And we're going to have one decimal behind, one digit behind the decimal place. And so it's actually going to be 300 inches cubed. And we can just get rid of this zero here, just make it a full 300. Now, the final kind of volume problem that might trip you up is when it looks like an area problem. If you get a word problem on a test and you see a rectangle, you're going to see something that says the base is shown. And here are at least two of your numbers. And then if you read carefully, they're going to give you the height within the word problem. They might say, in this case, the height is 6 meters. And so they're going to want you to calculate the volume. But if you're not careful, you might just calculate the area. So using our equation, base times height, we know that the base is going to be 48 meters squared. And I can guarantee you this is going to be an answer selection. But now we need to take this base and multiply it by the height. And if you get 48 times 6, that's going to be 48, it's going to be 24, 288 meters cubed. That is the area you need to look for. They give you the base, you have to calculate for the height.